Hello. This is part six of a series of videos in which I explain some of the mathematics behind my animations. In this video, we will look at creating new curves using processes called interpolation and extrapolation. Interpolation sounds complicated, but it simply means placing between known points. So the white circle here is interpolating between the red and the yellow points. Similarly, extrapolation means going beyond known points. Here the white circle is extrapolating from the red and the yellow points. So interpolation and extrapolation using points is straightforward. But how can we interpolate or extrapolate using two curves? Here are a hypocycloid curve with ratio 5 to 1 in red and an epicycloid curve with ratio 4 to 1 in yellow. These are very different curves with different symmetries. One has five-fold symmetry, the other has four-fold symmetry. How can we create a third curve that is halfway between these two? One way is to look at the position of the red and yellow pens as they travel around the two curves. And to add a third pen in orange, that is always halfway between the red and the yellow pens. When we draw the orange curve, we are interpolating between the red and the yellow curves. Notice that the orange curve does not share the symmetries of the red or the yellow curves. We can generalize this by adding more interpolated curves. Here you can see the original red and yellow curves with three interpolated curves in between them. One of the interpolated curves is a quarter of the way from the red curve to the yellow curve. The second is halfway between, and the third is three quarters of the way between. The shape of the interpolated curves depends on how the red and yellow curves are aligned relative to one another. If we rotate the yellow curve clockwise and we rotate the red curve anti-clockwise at the same time, then the shape of the interpolated curves changes in an interesting fashion. The shape of the interpolated curves also depends on the pen positions used to draw the red and yellow curves. Up until now, we've been using pen position 1 for both curves. Here is how the pattern changes if we move the pen position from position 1 out to position 2 and back again. As well as creating new curves between the red and yellow curves using interpolation, we can also draw extrapolated curves, which go outside of the space between the two original curves. Here we have added a further four extrapolated curves outside of the yellow curve. So in this pattern, there are nine curves altogether. The original two curves in red and yellow, three interpolated curves in between them, and four extrapolated curves beyond the yellow curve. Putting this all together, we can create an animation in which we rotate the red and the yellow curves and move the pen positions at the same time. In the next video, I will look at some other ways of transforming curves to create new patterns.